Welcome to the Cooper at South Bank, where you'll enjoy direct Riverwalk access and lush green views overlooking the sparkling river and cityscape, a true urban oasis. Developed and constructed by Australian-based Lendlease, South Bank is a new neighborhood development located on the South Branch of the Chicago River within South Loop. South Bank will make up 1,200 residential units among 11 high-rises on the river, just steps to the loop and moments from Union Station. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to click the bell now and subscribe to be notified on our next episode drop. We will keep them coming. If you're looking for luxury in Chicago, you've come to the right place. We find you the best apartments in the city so you don't have to. Subscribe to our channel and see what it's really like to live in the Windy City's top properties. The Cooper at South Bank opened in 2018, offering 452 luxury apartments and townhomes stretching 29 stories up. Not to mention the plethora of amenities, like the reading room and the listening lounge that I cannot wait to show you. Let's explore. Are you wondering about pricing on these apartments or want more information? Reach out to me today so I can help you find the perfect place. Here's how it works. If you're looking for help finding an apartment to rent in Chicago, please go to liveshy.tv and fill out the job form. From there, we will schedule a call to go over your questions and I will explain the process of working with me. Then I will send you options that check all the boxes. The properties pay me to bring them renters, you never do. My job is to take the stress out of the move and to do all the work for you. So what are you waiting for? Go to liveshy.tv now to fill out the form and I will handle the rest. From spacious studios and comfortable convertibles to one, two, and three bedrooms and a handful of penthouses, plus townhomes offering more privacy, there's something for everyone here. This cool convertible floor plan on the seventh floor at 531 square feet is open and airy, yet still offers a separate bedroom and the perfect closet for one person. I love the L-shaped kitchen with plenty of counter space and the floating island that can move around or be removed if you want to bring your own dining set. The light brown floors and two-toned light and dark gray cabinetry really warms up the space and makes it more homey. The pretty penny tile backsplash is so different than other apartments I've seen, and the open shelving is nice for displaying your plant family and your cute cups. Don't forget, if you work from home, you can always head down to the library on the sixth floor or grab a spot at the pool with Wi-Fi to get stuff done. There's so much space outside of your apartment where you can make an at-home office. Personally, I would post up on the 29th floor lounge that kind of feels like a swanky bar with lake views. There's also a chef's kitchen and an outdoor rooftop terrace up here that you can rent out for private parties and also enjoy resident events. Now picture yourself waking up and enjoying a cup of coffee on your bright balcony facing south overlooking the river with views of the city skyline. From this one bedroom on the 27th floor, you also get a slice of the lake. You will love the storage space in this one with a walk-in closet in the bedroom and two more in the foyer. You'd never guess this one bedroom is only 678 square feet. Another L-shaped kitchen allows you to get creative with the space and use a floating island or create your own dining room that flows right into the living room. Now let's explore the neighborhood. Have you been to Bubble & Brew yet? This family-owned coffee and bubble tea shop has so many options to choose from, and they even have bakery items like banana bread and bagels. 
another one of my favorite coffee shops is just around the corner. Dollop not only serves up some creative cappuccinos like my favorite, the spicy mocha mixed with cayenne pepper, but they also have bomb bagels and sandwiches. If you're looking for lunch, head over to Umay on Clark for a boatload of sushi or try their huge rice bowls. You can also grab and go, take your sushi back home and enjoy on the sixth floor terrace overlooking the riverfront park while you play bocce with your friends. There are also tons of grills on the terrace and a super target nearby for groceries if you want to host a spontaneous barbecue. Plus, Hops and Scotch is a new bottle shop right in the lobby, offering a serious assortment of spirits, wine, and non-alcoholic beverages. You'll definitely want to entertain here. Right as you step into the kitchen, you're struck with these picture-perfect views, painting the space, and providing natural artwork. I'm obsessed. You will love the stunning sunsets plus park and city views from this northwest corner two bedroom on the ninth floor at 993 square feet. The bedrooms are on either side of the apartment creating peace and privacy while one room fits a queen bed and the other offers a walk-in closet and space for a king bed. The luxury details carry throughout the apartments, from the nice roller shades and wood plank flooring and laundry and unit, the Cooper has got you covered. Living at the Cooper, you're rather centrally located, being walking distance to the loop for work as well as Grant Park on your days off. You can easily get to the lakefront trails and it's just a quick 10 minute drive or 15 minute train ride into West Loop when you want to head over to Restaurant Row for some more great food options. But one of my favorite places to eat nearby is Roots Pizza. They have a huge, super cool rooftop, plus lunch specials where you can order an individual pizza and a happy hour two to five, Monday through Friday. What's your favorite pizza in Chicago? Tell us in the comments below. Two bedrooms at the Cooper range from 993 to 1286 square feet, most including private outdoor space. Their special townhomes are rare to find in the city offering private entries separate from the main tower and access to the Riverwalk, while you also get to enjoy all the amenities of the tower. You can go through the main entrance of the building with 24-hour door staff, or you can enter your new townhome through the private fobbed side entrance. Or if you're lucky to snag one of these on the first floor, you get direct access to your new home through the River Park. These two-story townhomes are thoughtfully planned with the two bedrooms separate on the top level, two full bathrooms, and a laundry closet. Then the first full level is the main living area, including a powder room and a private covered terrace overlooking the river with smashing sunsets. The big primary bedroom boasts an ample walk-in closet, plus double vanity and a standing shower in the nice bright bathroom, while the other full bathroom offers a bathtub. This entire townhome is super spacious with an open concept floor plan, starting in the stunning kitchen with a large peninsula with seating for at least four, plus plenty of space for a designated dining room and any size sofa, and even a desk or bar area along the windows here. Now, welcome to the top. We're in a two bedroom penthouse on the 29th floor with extra tall ceilings at 1194 square feet facing west. You will be immediately drawn to the extra large funky balcony spanning the entire space. Can you see yourself sipping wine out here after a long day while the sun sets and boats float by? The unique architecture of the building reminds me of New York City and I love it. 
The angled walls and windows capture more vivid views than your standard apartment. Did you know they plan to put a new water taxi stop right here along the Riverwalk? You will soon be able to hop on and head down to Chinatown or up to Union Station or Michigan Ave. This location is ideal if you commute in and out from the city, work at Willis Tower, or anywhere in the loop. I know some of you may be looking to be close to the British International School, which is also just around the corner. And that little staircase takes you up into Roosevelt Collection Shops and the movie theater. So if you love to shop or you're a big movie fan, this is a great location for you too. But if I were you, I would end my evening wrapped up with a movie in the outdoor screening room with projector screen and killer skyline views. Do you know the newest residential high-rise to come to South Bank this year? We'll be sharing in one of our upcoming episodes. Be sure to stay tuned. Don't hesitate to reach out and ask me anything. I know all of these buildings like the back of my hand. My job is to take the stress out of the move and to do all the work for you. Fill out the job form at liveshy.tv and I will handle the rest. The properties pay me to bring them renters, you never do. Be sure to click the subscribe button and share Live Shy with your friends.